Hello and welcome to weekly vlog number 15. My name's Steve, welcome to Steve Official, my YouTube channel. Now, time for us to go to the beach. my weekly vlog from last week because I've still not yet uploaded weekly vlog number 14 which is okay I've got a bit of a story to tell you so at the end of last week's weekly vlog I said to you guys that tune into next week's weekly vlog weekly vlog number 15 because there might be a little surprise well what an experience I had last night so basically I could have had a dog <laughs> could have I could have had a dog named Alfie who's a Pomeranian cross chihuahua I'm not gonna lie the dog has been like really badly abused all of its life which to be honest is pretty sad and you know I feel as though it's really disgusting that there are people out there that do that sort of thing to animals. You know, I'm a dog lover, and to be honest, you know, I would never harm a dog. You know, I mean, I love dogs to pieces, literally. So I don't know why there are people out there that would do something like that. Anyway, so we get this dog. Obviously, this dog, he's been abused in the past by a male, right? Um, so obviously, he doesn't like males. Now, obviously, my nephew's staying at the moment as well. And the weird thing is, is he doesn't mind my nephew because, obviously, my nephew's small. Um, you know, he's only three, my nephew. So, yeah, so, obviously, you know, he didn't mind my nephew. He also liked my mum. He also liked my sister as well. It was just me that had the problem. Me. Of all people, me. Every time I moved, he barked. Every time I talked... He barked. You know, every time I went up to stroke him with my hand, he nearly went for my hand. Anyway, so, um, so, and he was growling, he was snarling, he was showing his teeth as well. So, you know, obviously that just shows that, you know, the dog's had a really tough life and, you know, and stuff like that. So it's such a shame because we had to give the dog back. Otherwise, you would have been introduced to a new dog. Um, a new addition to the family. It's such a shame because I'm now broody for another dog. I just want another dog. Tell you one thing though. The weird thing was, was yeah, every time I talked, every time I moved, the dog barked, right? But the weird thing was, was last night we had fish and chips for dinner and obviously my nephew couldn't eat the rest of his sausage. So my mum cut up this bit of sausage for my ne um for the dog, right? For me to give to the dog. Anyway, so the dog comes up to me, I call its name, dog comes up to me, and, you know, he takes the sausage from my hand nicely as well, which was nice, you know, and I stroked his head, I was like, yeah, good boy, good boy, like that, right, just to build trust, and literally, as soon as I took my hand away, he went to bite me, I was like, but I've done nothing wrong, I just gave you a treat, damn you, yeah. So it's Saturday night, it's just coming up to half past ten, um, and I am just about to shut my curtains for the night, and I'm now just about to get ready for bed because I've got an early start tomorrow. I'm doing six to one again tomorrow like I did today. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday afternoon. And I've just got home from work. And I've just got out my uniform. And I've just had a shave. That's right. Hi, everybody. And welcome to Sunday's part of the weekly vlog. Friday was payday for me. And since payday, which was two days ago, I've only spent £2.75. 
What's wrong with me? AJ, have a stretch. Oh, come here then. Good boy, hello, hello. It's Sunday evening. I've just had my dinner for dinner tonight. I had uh, some stew. And for pudding, I had some carrot cake, which was really, really nice, by the way. Uh, JJ has now gone home, so, so sad, sad times, because JJ's gone home now. Monday morning now on ITV, and we're kicking off a new week with another fresh look on the channel, with resident artist CJ Mahoney taking on the challenge. If you want to find out more, just search ITV Creates for all the details. It's six o'clock now, though, and with the latest news and entertainment stories, here's the best way to start your day. It's Good Morning Britain. It's estimated to be worth a massive £3 billion and is almost entirely unregulated. Tonight, the Car Files investigates the business of facial aesthetic procedures at eight o'clock. But now here's Ruth and Eamon to kickstart your week on This Morning. There's 10 grand up for grabs if any of today's players can get that jackpot counter over the edge in new tipping point this afternoon at four. But now it's time to join the ladies live for your Mondays, Loose Women. From the writers of The Missing comes a brand new drama to ITV tonight. For the next few weeks, The Widow, Mondays and Tuesdays at nine. Now though, here's Judge Rinder. Last night's episode or any of the series so far, you can catch up with our critically acclaimed drama Victoria. It's waiting for you right now over on the ITV Hub. It's Monday afternoon and I've got home from work and got out of my work uniform as well. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. Good morning everybody, it's Tuesday morning and I've just woke up and got out of bed. Morning chinchillas, oh they're there asleep and they've knocked their food bowl over, lovely. Okay, somewhere in here is a t-shirt, I need to find a t-shirt. Okay, so I'm currently in my bathroom right now as I'm just about to have a shower. Just gonna spray myself with some deodorant. Oh, I'm gonna spray some of uh, this stuff on me, some sort of aftershave I guess you could say. And it works. Hey, let's see what the weather's doing outside this morning. It's looking a little bit cloudy out there. Was you gnawing at your little tree, was you? Oh, bless. Hello. Okay, what the hell happened in your... Did you have a party or something last night? I mean, come on. Look, your food bowl's down there, right, on the floor, when it's meant to be up there. And then, look, as we go down here, your bed. Your bed, which is normally up there, is now down there. What have you been doing? Eh? What have you been doing? Okay, so I'm giving my chinchillas a little dust bath. There's one of my chinchillas inside the dust bath. Look, having a dust off. Just about to give my chinchillas some fresh food after they tipped their food bowl over last night. Just about to give my chinchillas some fresh water as well. Okay, I've decided I'm gonna put these toilet roll tubes in their cage as well. So I'm just gonna put one there. One there, then I'm gonna put these ones in there as well. Just gonna, just so that that way they it keeps them entertained really. There we go, look, there's some more. There we are, just put them all up there. There we go, they'll take them. Now I'm gonna use this broom to clean up all their little droppings and sawdust that's on the floor here. Just had a shave. Just about to empty the dishwasher now and then I'm going to refill the dishwasher. Just about to have some breakfast and for breakfast today I've got some choco nut squares or chocolate pillows. Just made myself a nice cup of tea. Oh, so last night. So last night I saw uh, my support worker family. went to uh, the moon in the square, weather spoons again and had like, I had three cups of tea. Last night at around about 10, half past 10, I met up with my new friend Mal. It was nice. It was really nice. Um, yeah, we went for a little dog walk um, together because uh, she has a German Shepherd. It was really funny. There was this one part where 
just one moment where like we were walking and all of a sudden her dog got really excited and started jumping up at me. I was like, whoa! <laughs> I nearly fell over as well at one point because the dog was just jumping up at me. He's friendly, like he's really friendly German Shepherd dog, you know, and he's really well trained as well. So, but it was really, it was really funny when he jumped up at me. Oh, bless him. If Mal is watching this, then thank you, Mal, for last night. Because, honestly, I really did enjoy having a chat and, you know, going for a walk with you. Um, and I think I'm then, uh, yeah, I'm going to be seeing her again on Friday. Um, I think she said we might go out for some lunch together or something like that. But, um... Yeah, so there we go. Anyway, that was last night in a nutshell for you. Okay, so I am working today at Tesco. I'm doing 12pm till 6pm today, so it's time for me now to get into my work uniform. So it's Tuesday evening, I've just got home from work, and a couple of things to tell you. First things first, do you remember this morning it was dry, cloudy? Well, this is the picture outside my window right now. That's right, it's wet and it's raining. Good morning everybody. It's Wednesday morning. It's half, we're halfway through the week, so happy hump day. It's Wednesday afternoon and I've just got dressed. It's about to open my curtains and it's looking uh, not too bad. Sun's trying to come out but it's a little bit cloudy at the same time. So this is what I've got for lunch today, is a pizza. Now, as you can see, it is slightly burnt. I was standing here for the entire time. It was in this oven here, right? But this oven, I'm telling you now, is so bloody powerful, I put this pizza in for 10 minutes, which is what it says on the box, to put the pizza in for 10 minutes. So I stick it in for 10 minutes, and this is how it comes out, looking slightly burnt. Mm. I mean, it's not too bad, this pizza. I'm not going to lie, it is still edible. So, it's Wednesday afternoon still, and I've just got into my work uniform. Um, I'm working today, 4 till 10. Good morning, it's Thursday morning, and I've just woke up, and I'm just about to go off and have a shower now, and get dressed. So, it's Thursday afternoon. Um, I have had to go to the vets this morning because basically overnight my chinchilla Lola was, she was obviously walking around her cage like she normally does because obviously my chinchillas they're nocturnal animals and Basically, she got her leg caught in between uh, two of the metal bars that goes on her ladder to go up onto the next level of her cage. So this morning my mum woke up and she heard this little rustling noise coming from the cage. Now normally when my mum wakes up in the morning, my chinchillas, they're asleep right well anyway this chinchilla lola she went asleep because obviously she was stuck on the ladder and yeah basically she so she came up with with my chinchilla lola and the ladder because obviously the ladder was caught to her leg and she said oh you she came up to me and I was asleep. She said, oh, come on, Steve, wake up, wake up. There's something wrong with your chinchilla. There's something wrong with your chinchilla. So I woke up in a panic. And obviously I found that the chinchilla had got a leg caught. Now it was sort of woved into two of, like I say, into the two metal bars of the ladder that goes in their cage. Um, anyway, so I managed to get her foot out of the ladder. So she was free. And then we put her back in the cage and we found out that her leg, she'd broken her leg um, at the back of her, at the back. So she broke one of her hind legs. So my mum called the vet and uh, we got an appointment this morning. 
at around about uh, 10 to 11. So I took her to the vets and I told them what had happened to her. And they looked at it. Now, when I took her out of the cage earlier, there was only a patch of blood coming from the top part of her leg. Um, and then when I got her out to show the vets how bad her leg was, the big that little patch of blood got even worse because it was that patch of blood was spreading all across the bottom of her stomach. Um, so, anyway, they looked at her leg for like a good 20 seconds, because that's how long I could hold her for before she started getting all fidgety and stuff like that. So they looked at her leg for 20 seconds and they said, yeah, I think that maybe the chinchilla is going to need some sort of amputation. Um... So basically what they've done what they said to me was they they gave me they gave me two options pretty much they said that we can either put her down to sleep um just to end the suffering here or we can try and repair it but if not then we'll have to amputate her leg so obviously straight away I threw the card away from the table about putting her to sleep because at the end of the day she's only a year old you know and she's still got a lot of life in her and stuff like that you know so and I didn't want to take her life away like that you know I generally didn't so I said to them I think the best option would be is to get to either see if her leg is repairable or to see if may or just to get her leg amputated um i know it's going to cost me a fair few amount of money because it's like 100 i think it's bet anywhere between 100 pounds and 150 quid to get the chinchilla's leg removed so i mean it's a good job because this last week i've not really like bought much with my pay packet so I guess it's just going to have to cover the cost for my chinchilla's leg removal, but I've just been feeling really upset, to be honest about it, you know, really, really upset, but she will pull through, she will pull through. Here's what the weather's looking like outside today, it's blue skies and the sun is shining, a little bit windy out there as well today. So it's Thursday afternoon, I've just got into my work uniform as I'm heading off to work now um, as I'm doing 4 till 8 today so I'm doing a really nice short shift. So it's Thursday night, I've just got home from work, I've seen my chinchilla Lola. It costed me 176 quid, yeah that's right, 176 quid. So my bank is probably rioting right now. Oh, well, I've got a Snapchat. Oh, it's from Mel. Um, <laughs> I'll answer that in a minute. Um, anyway, shall I show you Lola? Let's let's show you Lola. There she is. Look, she's there. She's resting at the moment. There she is, asleep. But my mum's kind of set up like a little hospital. Look, just a little hospital here. So over there you've got the you've got a little tub of um of food and water to just keep her hydrated and and also keep her fed. And then we've also got some like tubes as well, a bit of cardboard. And then over here we've got some, some hay as well. Um so yes, yeah, so that's the little hospital room we've made for her. And then Lily is down here somewhere. Where is she? Oh there she is. Look she's eating her food at the moment. So yeah. So Lola's gonna be like so this is how the cage is probably gonna be for the next few days. Um until well until Lola gets her stitches out because she's gonna get her stitches out on Tuesday uh next week hopefully. Um, so, yeah, so I think that's why it costed 176 quid, because A, the operation, and B, the post-operation, um, check-up review, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, so there we go, so that's, that's a little update on my chinchillas, I'm so glad, 
and I'm happy as well that she's home and she's just resting now so there we go I'm just gonna leave her to it anyway I'm just gonna very quickly show you my dinner tonight there we go got beans sausages and chips for dinner tonight that's my meal for dinner um so yeah anyway you know what let's uh, well, I know what, I don't often do this on the vlog, but why don't we just do a Snapchat right now? We just, uh, I'm gonna take a, I'm just gonna take a Snapchat. There we go. Um, uh, I'm just gonna put IRC and I'm currently recording my vlog. Okay, so I've just got out of my work uniform. Uh, I'm just about to sit down and eat my dinner. Hence why I've got the knife and fork here. Um, and I'm also, oh, my headphones are all the way over there. Uh, I'm also going to listen to some music on my phone while I eat my dinner. So there we go. Good morning. It's Friday. Friday morning. And I've just woke up. And I think before we start anything else as part of the Friday, Friday's part of the weekly vlog, Let's have a little bit of a song. Yeah! Friday, Friday, Friday. Here we go! Cheesy song, fry the cheesy song, the fry the cheesy song. Good morning. From Steve Crosby's vlog. From Steve Crosby's vlog. Steve Crosby's vlog. Welcome to Stevie Crosby's vlog! Okay, now that that's been done, time for me to get dressed. Let's see what the weather's doing outside this morning. On this Friday morning, oh look at that. Blue skies, not a single cloud in the sky, and the sun is shining. Morning, Lola. Morning. Oh. Bless her. She's still asleep. Right, what on earth happened down here last night? Literally, that nesting box was up on that shelf there. Now it's down here. So come on, Lily. What's been going on? What have you been up to? Just made myself a cup of tea and as you can tell, I'm not using my normal mug because it's currently in the dishwasher at the moment. It is such a lovely day outside today and that's a good thing. Um, so today I am going to be meeting Mal again um, because she, well basically we're going to go out and get something to eat together, like a bite to eat together. Um, and then after that, I think I said that me and her will go for another dog walk again like we did the other night.
Disney has finally revealed when it will take on Netflix with its streaming service Disney Plus. Uh, the studio held an expo for Disney Plus uh, yesterday where exec Kevin Mayer uh, fully unveiled its debut program in Slate and let fans in the US know how much it will cost them. Uh, so Disney Plus is set to launch in the US on Tuesday, November 12th with two pricing tiers. Uh, there's a The first pricing tier is $6.99 per month or you can pay for the whole year over there in the US for $69.99. Uh, so that is less than the recent Netflix price increases for those keeping score. Um, just like Netflix, Disney Plus will be ad-free. It will include the House of Mouse's vast catalogue of feature films and will now become the streaming home for The Simpsons thanks to Disney's purchase of Fox. Thursday's presentation uh, coincided with reports that the initial original programming slate will include TV series spin-offs of uh, hit movies The Sandlot and Love, Simon, according to The Hollywood Reporter and Variety. Uh, the on-stage presentation included confirmation of the previously rumoured Avengers uh, spin-off series for Falcon and the Winter Soldier, along with the first logo for the show as well. Uh, Disney Plus will eventually also premiere shows for The Vision dash Scarlet Witch, uh, to be called WandaVision, uh, Loki, Hawkeye and an animated What If adaption that changes key events from the Marvel Cinematic Universe with quirky twists. Uh, the first What If episode uh, will reimagine an MCU where Peggy Carter uh, became Captain America and Steve Rogers went to wear the Iron Man armour. Uh, also in the works are Star Wars shows, uh, the Mandalorian and a Rogue One spin-off for Cassian Andor with Diego Luna and Alan Tudyk uh, returning as well. Uh, plus series adaptions of High School Musical and Monsters Inc which was earlier announced earlier this week as well. Uh, and here are some other Disney Plus programming announced during Thursday's Expo. So this is what you can expect to see um, across Probably the next year here, uh, well, on Disney Plus, uh, it, on the Disney Plus streaming service, should we say. So there's every Star Wars film, that's going to be on there. Uh, there's going to be every Pixar film, plus some new Pixar short films as well. Uh, there's going to be over 500 Disney films for you to enjoy. Uh, Captain Marvel, Lady and the Tramp is going to be getting a live action reboot. Uh, there's going to be a Phineas and Ferb movie. Uh, there's also going to be something called Noel as well. Um, there's going to be a documentary called Into the Unknown Making Frozen 2, which obviously is going to be sort of a behind-the-scenes look of the film Frozen 2, which comes out later this year. Uh, there's going to be 5,000 episodes in total of Disney Channel shows. Uh, there's going to be 100 total of Disney Channel original movies and there's going to be new original films t uh, Togo, Timmy Failure and Stargirl and there's also going to be the Phineas and Ferb movie with Ca uh, Candice against the universe as well. So there we go that is Disney Plus uh, which is set to launch over there in the US uh, on November 12th this year plus Disney did kind of talk about where the streaming platform is uh, where the streaming uh, site is going to be based. Uh, they have said that it will be available for smartphones, for tablets, uh, for smart TVs as well. At the moment the only confirmed video game console that will allow uh, you guys to stream Disney Plus at the moment will be the PS4 but that may change at a later date because they are currently in talks uh, with Microsoft to bring uh, Disney Plus's streaming service uh, to Xbox One and they're also in talks uh, with Disney, uh, well Disney are also in talks with Nintendo as they would love to bring Disney Plus's streaming service to the Nintendo Switch as well so who knows uh, obviously I'll keep you updated on Disney Plus's streaming service news uh, as soon as I find out about uh, what's going on with that um, but you know what, I'm pretty excited because finally there's a home 
for The Simpsons to stream all 30 seasons. So literally from seasons 1 to 30, every single episode of The Simpsons that you can think of will be available to stream on Disney Plus's, well, on Disney's brand new streaming service, Disney Plus. Okie dokie, I've got a bit of an update for you. So I've just been Snapchatting my friend Mal, right? Um, and she said to me that she can't meet me today, unfortunately. Um, just for, I'm going to say for family reasons. Um, so she said that we're going to have to reschedule for uh, next week or something. So I said to her, yeah, that's fine. I don't mind. Um, you know, at the end of the day, family comes first, you know, before your friends. Um, so basically she said to me that she can game with me on Xbox. So I said to her, yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm online now anyway. So, um, yeah, so I've just gone down to go and grab my my cup of tea. Robbie Williams and Ida Field have announced that they are uh, going to be quitting this year's X Factor. Strictly Come Dancing's Darcy Bustle, uh, Bustle has also announced that she's leaving the judging panel on Strictly Come Dancing. Okay, I'm going to end the weekly vlog here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching this week. I'll be back next week with weekly vlog number 16. But from me here, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.